topic goodies, I'm all done here in my Jamaican kitchen. You want me to make stew peas and rice, Jamaican stew peas and rice in my slow cooker, and I am always here to deliver. Now, if you not watch me cook this stew peas and rice version in my slow cooker, well, go ahead and subscribe. If you have not already subscribed, goody, go ahead and do so. Turn on your post notification settings so you will always be aware of whenever your girl upload what? A brand new video. So, you want to see me turn up this? Come on and let's get started. You don't remember where you're coming from. You don't remember where you're coming from. You don't remember where you're coming from. Rest of our eye, eye. Why you turn your back on your brother when him need ya? You don't know, remember the days I'm when him feed ya? You know when no obligation but you win some respect. All you need to do is just give him what you forget. Turn your back on your brother when him need ya. Now, goody, I'm going to show you how to make the meanest stew peas and rice in your slow cooker. You will never forget this recipe. This recipe is going to be turned. It's going to be fast. It's going to be easy. I'm going to make it real simple. Look there. You see the piece I saw? Yes, goody. Why? The thing nice. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I am about to start. Are you ready? Now let's get started. So this is my piece. This is the piece I'm not going to use for the recipe. I just saw my ultra-rest red kidney beans. I love ultra-rest, right? So we're going to use those. Okay, good. Now this is your very first step. Now, I'm using pigtail for the recipe. Now, pigtail is what you guys wanted me to use. Now, you could use oxtails. That is salted pigtail, right? You could use salt beef. You could use regular beef. You could be, use whatever. You can use whatever kind of a meat that you want to use when you are making stew peas and rice, right? Now, you wanted me to make pigtail in my stew peas, so that is what we are making today. Now, substitute, like I said, for any other meat where you want. Same routine, different meat. Now, let me explain about this pigtail right here. It is salted, so you don't want to go ahead and start cooking it up like that because your pot are going to overly salted. So what I did, even though I'm doing it in the slow cooker, I went ahead and added water to my pigtail overnight, right? And I let it sit overnight so it could get some of that salt out of it. So yeah, you gotta make sure that you do that. You wanna go ahead and rinse this thing really good with lemon juice. Lemon juice, salt, and vinegar is in this water right here. So that's what I let it sit in. So after I do the step there, I'm gonna cut it up, right? And into the desired pieces that I want it to be cut in before I put it inside of my slow cooker. pieces when they go, go ahead and cook up my pigtails two pieces right some piece in my kitchen right now you could cut them smaller you could cut them bigger it's just gonna be your choice but that is my desired piece so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse these off real good again and then I get these ready for the soap cooker Okay, goody, I'm going to go ahead also and wash the peas real good. You want to make sure you wash the peas because you don't want to cook two peas with spoons in it and rocks and bricks and all them thing there. And get a good up with the people and to eat. So, the one that I'm using once again is the Ultra Reels brand and this is a 12 ounce pack, right? So yeah, we want to wash them up real good. You see that guys? That's the reason why you'd want to make sure that you wash your peas. That right there is a rock or a brick. Right this up. Listen. That's a brick right there. Piece of stone. So you want to wash that. Wash your peas, y'all. Wash your peas really, 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 really good. 
Okay, got it. Now we are ready to start cooking, like really, really cooking. This slow cooker, Jamaican stew peas and rice, right? It's gonna be fast, easy, and simple. Now you wanna make sure, like I said before, when you put your pigtails in or any kind of meat where you plan for use, right? You make sure so you wash the meat real good into that lemon juice, salt, and vinegar. Make sure so your meat wash nice and clean. Then you go ahead and you add your peas. And your peas you add is your stoneless peas. Make sure so there's no stone or bricks in those peas. You wash it really good before you add it into the meat. Be sure to spread out the peas evenly with the meat so that way when it starts to cook inside of that thing, everything is cooking evenly and not unevenly. To that, I am going to add some garlic, lots of garlic, y'all. I'm not even going to measure the amount of garlic that I'm going to put in here. It's going to be so much garlic because garlic tastes really really good when you are making stew peas so yes you could add whatever amount of garlic that you want to use in yours but you know my one that garlic i do it today kick it up with some salt and you don't want to put too much salt in it because remember that pigtail has a salty flavor to it so you can taste it as you go along and see how you want to balance up that salt in it I'm definitely going to be adding some black pepper right there. So, so basically what I'm doing after I put my pigtail and everything in, you want to add your desired spices to the mix. Now I'm going to add some onion powder to it. Because onion powder is a must, right? I'm going to add fresh onions to it, but you need some onion powder. As well, even though I put fresh garlic in it, I'm still gonna go in and add some garlic powder because it's all about flavor inside of my slow cooker. Now I'm gonna go in and add my one of my favorite spices of all is my all purpose seasoning. I love to use my Grace all purpose seasoning, but then again, you could use whatever that you like in your kitchen. Can't remember your kitchen enough. So you know, I'm gonna go with this one. But the one that I'm using is my grace all-purpose season i love to use that to that i'm going to add some ginger powder now if you don't have ginger powder use fresh ginger it is the same right it's going to give it that nice little ginger flavor to the stew peas now it's time to add my pimento seeds and i'm going to go ahead and add those in there i'm using probably about 14 pimento seeds some people call them pimento berry but the pimento seed me call it mama always call it pimento seed so I pimento seed me i call it i'm going to add just a little bit of paprika to it and that is totally optional but because it's my kitchen i can have whatever i want now I'm going in with my beef broth and I'm adding about three cups of beef broth to the mix, just like so. After I add my beef broth, then I'm going to go in and add my coconut cream to it. Don't use coconut milk, coconut cream. And that is about a cup and a half. Then I'm going to add some scallions to it. And you want to add some fresh thyme because fresh thyme make everything taste better. To that, you want to add your onions, bell pepper, and the hot scotch bonnet pepper to it. Do not pop that pepper, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and add some vinegar. I'm using apple cider vinegar. All the amount that I'm using for my recipe right here will be listed down below. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and kind of give it a little sink. You're not mixing everything up. You just want to just take your spoon or whatever you're going to use and just, just press it down. Leave it just like that, okay? Nothing else. You want to put that on high heat. I'll meet you right back here in about three hours. The last hour into cooking, I'm going to go ahead and put my spinners in and it's going to complete the meal. So I'll see you back here in about three hours. High heat, y'all. Put it on high heat. Okay, so it has been about two and a half hours right there. Cooking nice and slow. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix all that goodness in. 
my pepper is right there and I'm gonna go ahead and take that pepper out because I don't want it to pop so I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna put it back in there in another hour or so let's get you all up in there all up in there that is coming along really really nice I have another like two hours to go before it is done but that is coming along really really well so now what I'm going to do here, the piece is not finished cooked yet, right? So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and make my dumplings and put my dumplings in. That look good already right there. By the time the piece is done, it's going to finish up with that nice, beautiful color right up in there. So, okay, I have about a half cup of all purpose flour there, right? But I still got, I just a little pinch of salt to it, not too much, because I don't want my dumplings to be salty, because that pigtail right there is it's pretty salty, it has a salt flavor to it. So I'm just going to knead that up, and when I come back, it's going to look like this. That is perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and make spinners and put them into my stew piece mixture. And my spinners look pretty much like that. Now y'all, this is going to take maybe another two hours to cook because I want those peas to start giving my stew peas the color that I need. That piece is not done yet after about two, about two hours or something are cooking, right? So I'm thinking so it's going to take me, take, and it's going to take me maybe about five hours and I'm a slow cooker total, but we'll figure it out together. So we'll go ahead and drop those little spinners up in there and them things are looking super good and the kitchen is smelling amazing y'all, amazing. So goody, now that my spinners are in, you're gonna get those all up in that good juices right there. And then with my pepper, like hot scotch bonnet pepper, right? Cause we need that flavor, y'all. We need that flavor that coming, that is coming along real good. Look at that, look at that, look at that. So now I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna add my pepper right on top, right there, so because I don't want my pepper to pop. So we're gonna go ahead and put that back, cover that back up nice and tight, and I'm gonna come right back here in two hours. It's gonna be done. <laughs> Okay, y'all, it is all done. And look at my stew peas and rice inside of my slow cooker. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. O to the M to the G. See my pepper? It's still right there. It didn't pop, so that's good. But my stew peas is done. Jamaican stew peas and rice inside my slow cooker fast easy and simple might look there look here look here good there look there look there yo that is some yum maliciousness gravy right there so watch it stew peas and rice the <sighs> thing Massive, yes, good Jamaican stew peas and rice in your slow cooker fast easy and simple you've been asking for this recipe in like forever and I'm here to show you that you could cook anything you want in your slow cooker and it'll come out your malicious right now y'all give this recipe a big fat thumbs up share 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 with your friends with your family everybody we want to share it with as usual and remember to tell me what you like to see me cooking next in my kitchen and as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy
I'm gonna let this cook for a good 30 minutes on medium heat. Cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it's done simmer, a time for eat. So see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation for coverage. You know, like bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.